you're looking at a bunch of standard interview data structures right now. The names and details aren't important. The main idea I want to teach you is that every data structure behaves exactly the same. I know this might feel surprising because everything here looks so different, but that's just because we drew everything out the standard way. Let's redraw everything here the derive it way. Every single data structure you'll ever come across is made of circles and arrows just like you're seeing here right now. And all the circles and arrows behave the same way. This isn't some weird hack, this is genuinely what's going on inside of the computer, and it makes a bunch of tricky problems a lot more intuitive. Let's take a look at the array to show you how these circles and arrows work. So we'll just write out an array in Python with a bunch of random numbers in it. This is the data structure the computer creates when you write this, and I'll show you everything you need to know about how it works. To start, let's just say we want to find the element at index 2 of the array. When the computer calls x of 2, the first thing it has to do is find x. So it looks for the edge with an x on it, which is this edge right here. And then it just walks along that edge to this node here. Now the computer found x, so it looks for an edge with a 2 on it, and it goes here. The computer ended up at 3, and so that's what it's going to give you as the value of x of 2. Reading always works exactly like this, so you always just walk along the edges. So that's how reading works, but what about writing? The only thing you have to know about writing is that whenever the computer sees an equals sign, it takes whatever is on the left and points it to whatever is on the right. So in this example, we're setting x of 2 equal to 15. So the computer is going to find the thing on the left, which is x of 2. And when it finds that edge, it's going to make it point to the thing on the right, which is 15. The 3 still does exist, you just can't get to it through the array because the array doesn't point to it anymore. The same exact process applies every single time you see an equals sign. For example, when we said x equals the array at the very beginning, all that did was take x and point it to the array. The very last thing I want to say is that it might bother you that x is kind of just floating here, but actually I just haven't been drawing the root node that it belongs to. There's this root that the computer always starts at when it looks for any variable. So those are all the concepts I want to tell you. I just want to give you a quick recap of everything I just said. So this is how reading works. And this is how writing works. Everything in computer science is really simple if you think about it the right way.